Hey guys, welcome back to another Thursday Rough Cut. Right now is about the best time ever to get into a Smith & Wesson shield. Whether it be in nine millimeter like this one, 40 or 45, there's a rebate going on for this and a handful of other Smith & Wessons. And I'll tell you all about that rebate here in a second. But that combined with the declining price of these guns anyway, makes it a fantastic time to get into this particular pistol. Whether you've already got one, you're thinking about picking up another one, or you've never gotten into one, you wanna finally try it out, now is the time to buy a shield, or again, a couple of other Smith & Wessons, which I'll tell you about here in a second. Uh, before I get into the rebate, give you details on that, I wanna tell you about my experience with this shield, which I've had for, what, two years, two, three years, I wanna say, a while now. I've shot it a lot, I've carried it a lot, put it in a kit here and there, and tried to use it in a few different ways to kind of really get a sense for uh, what this gun is for and, and how it performs in a lot of different roles. I love it, and I, I've said this before, and as I compared it recently to the uh, Walder PPS M2, I still feel like the shield is about as good as a slim nine millimeter can get. I love it, absolutely love it. So what's so good about this gun? Well, um, it's got the right balance of weight and size. So it's, it's very uh, concealable, it's very carryable, it's easy to shoot because of the, the size to weight ratio. Um, particularly in the nine millimeter, that's, it's very soft shooting, very easy to manage. We got some horses going on behind me. No, they just went off that way. Anyways, uh, it's great in a number of different ways and I, I, I love it for all that. Uh, the size, again, perfect. The capacity is fantastic, like seven rounds in this flush fitting magazine plus eight rounds in the, uh, the higher capacity one. And the reason that it's able to hold such high round count at relative to so many of those other slim nine millimeters is because it is has a staggered, a semi-staggered magazine, which most of the other ones do not. In fact, I don't think any of the other slim nine millimeters, mil millimeters have anything like that. They're all just straight up and down one round on top of the other. So the shield has a huge advantage over most of the other um, slim nines out there. Again, we're talking particularly about slim nines, but it is in 40 and it is also in 45. Haven't shot the 45 yet, I really want to. In fact, I'm very tempted to get one, particularly with this, this rebate going on. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but what else can I say about it? The looks are fantastic. The trigger on it is more or less the standard M&P trigger. If you've ever shot um, a Smith & or yeah, Smith & Wesson M&P, this is that trigger more or less. Okay, it's that same hinged trigger that we have on all those other Smith & Wesson M&Ps. Some folks hate it. Some folks think it's great. I'm sort of in the middle. Well, maybe nobody thinks it's great. Actually, I don't know of anybody that thinks it's great. But I'm I'm of the opinion that it's just fine. It's totally fine. I, I've never switched out any of my Smith & Wesson triggers and I never had any work done on them, nothing like that. I just, I just shoot them as they are and I've, I've just been happy with them. So um, the trigger in my opinion is perfectly fine. The ergonomics on it, that's one thing that I absolutely love about the standard Smith & Wesson M&P as well as the Shield. Great ergonomics on it. Feels so good in hand and um, it's just you know, a, great, a great shooting gun for that reason. And I've never really done a formal review on this gun. That's partly why I'm trying to talk a lot about it right now. Um, just great features on it overall. Sights adjustable. Um, there is a little loaded chamber indicator you can see there. A little port where you can tell if there's brass down in there. Um, gosh, what else? This is the safety version. There is also a no manual safety version. Um, I bought mine right before the non-manual safety version came out. So... I was stuck with the manual safety version, and frankly, I don't care. This, that safety is positive enough. There's enough weight that you have to, enough pressure you have to put on that in order to engage and disengage it, that it's not going to engage or disengage by itself. So it's fine. I mean, if you, you can basically just leave the safety off and it works just like the no manual safety version of the gun. Or leave it on if you're gonna be stowing it someplace and you want that added level of of safety and security for the gun. Um, aesthetics as well. Aesthetics are great on this gun. I think it's a really nice looking 9mm or pistol in general. It's just 
I don't know, Smith & Wesson, you've done a great job in creating a nice looking gun. It's not ugly, it's not weird looking. I like these sort of scalloped serrations here on the back. Those are really nice looking. Some forward serrations would be good. I'll talk about why I think that might be coming. But um, in general, I also take down, super easy. And we can show you that real quick. You lock it back like this, rotate that down, slide it forward, trigger press, that comes off. I believe you don't need to press the trigger down. I think that there is a, um, a disengagement lever in there or something, but I don't bother. I just go ahead and trip that uh, trigger. But bringing it back, lock that slide back again, take down lever, reassembled. That's it. Super easy to clean, super easy to manage in, in general. So in, in every way, shape, and form, I think that this is more or less an ideal 9mm for concealed carry. Uh, it's, again, the right balance of size and, um, and recoil management, the right balance of, uh, of capacity, an excellent capacity, in fact. So in pretty much every way, I love this as a concealable 9mm. Now let's get on to why now is the right time to buy a Smith & Wesson Shield, the rebate. Uh, it's 75 bucks that you can get back as a mail-in rebate when you buy a shield right now. Anytime between April 1st, 2017 and June 30th, 30th, 2017, you can use that rebate. Again, 75 bucks off. We got a helicopter up here. Doing what? Who knows? In any case, 75 bucks off this gun if you buy it up, uh, between now and June 30th, 2017. Uh, they also have rebates going on the Bodyguard 380, which is 50 bucks off. Again, same rebate time. And then on the SD or SDVE, um, also until June 30th. And that's $25 off. So 75, 50, and 25. And 75 is what you get on the shield. That combined with the fact that the prices have dropped drastically on this gun. It's considerably lower now than it was when I bought it, and I bought it for a really good price, I thought, but uh, you can get it for even less than that now. I've seen it as low as this exact one with the manual safety. I've seen it online for as low as $299, $299, plus a $75 rebate. That's insane. That's like LCP cheap, okay? Speaking of LCP, um, this is the reason why I think or this is why, what I think is actually happening. This is why I think the rebate is going on right now. In my opinion, Smith & Wesson is gearing up to release a Shield 2.0. That's what I think. In fact, that's kind of, you know, looking at what Ruger did in their um, in release of their LCP, which obviously was out for a long time, prices dropped to like 200 bucks on that, and that's the price that I picked up mine for. Pardon the wind, guys. It's can't really control it. i got my basic rig here with no wind sock on it, so sorry about that. But the, uh, the standard LCP went down to like 200 bucks, and then a little while after that, six or eight months after that, we saw the LCP2 come out. Um, initially for about 300 bucks, it's down to like 260, 275, something like that pretty frequently. Um, and then the standard LCP where you can still find it is below 200 sometimes. So um, that's what I think is happening with the Smith & Wesson Shield. By the way, the LCP and the LCP2, in that case, the LCP is still a, st a very solid, solid gun that I love. I think it performs great as a 380. It's got, it's a little snappier than the LCP2. The LCP2 is definitely an improvement over the LCP, but it's still a solid gun. And that's gonna be the case with the Shield versus the new MMP Shield 2.0, which I predict is gonna come out at some point. I don't have an inside track here, guys. I'm just reading the tarot cards, okay? I'm guessing that this is what's gonna happen. But that is gonna be more, if and when that comes out, it'll be a better gun probably by most people's standards, but the standard shield will still be amazingly good. So don't hesitate. I would say if you're, unless you really, really wanna have the most recent version of the gun, don't hesitate, buy a standard shield today <laughs> or sometime between June 30th and save yourself 75 bucks. What an incredible price right now. So I'm incredibly, uh, I'm, I'm just stoked about that. I'm. Uh, I'm really tempted to get myself, like I said before, a shield in 45 because that one, again, in, in all calibers and all varieties, what I'm looking at right now is that it's, you, know, you can get these high-vis 
site ported versions of the shield, or maybe even in different colors with, um, I don't know, Cerakote or something like that, or just different slide color, or not slide, but, but frame colors or whatever. I think those are available. And if they are, again, it's, it's any new shield that's on the market right now until June 30th, 75 bucks off. I'm rambling now, I think, but uh, my point is, get into a shield if you've thought about it, get into it now, it's the right time to buy it. And that's all I gotta say about that on the late Boy Scout, thanks for watching, and uh, this has been another uh, rambling, <laughs> at times, uh, rough cut Thursday, but thanks for watching, we'll see you guys later.